In this tutorial, we will learn how to use search in Windows Explorer as well as using the search folder. Now, when you open up Windows Explorer, you will see in your upper right hand corner that you can search for things, which is a pretty cool new feature uh, in Windows Vista. If you use the search in Windows Explorer as opposed to the search in the start menu, then you probably need to have a better idea of where things are for it to be more useful. Um, because in Windows Explorer, this search will only search the folder you choose as well as its subfolders, but not necessarily everything that is on your computer, such as the search in the start menu. So, for example, right now, I have Mirror after open and I can just search and it will be very similar to the start menu. It will refine my search as I type. So for instance if I type this in, it'll refine my search. But however, if I go into contacts and I search, it will say that nothing's coming because it is not in that subfolder. So you have to be careful about how you search using Windows Explorer. Um, now, one important thing that you need to do to make sure your searches run well is make sure your settings are all correct. So if I go to Organize here, I go to Folder and Search Options, and click on the Search tab, I have to make sure that Find Partial Matches is clicked, is checked. Because if it's not, then my search will not be refined as I go along. So for example, it won't show me anything that's a partial search. It will only show me the exact word if it's found. So for example, if I put in cam, Camtasia will not show up. I need to sh type in the entire word for it to show up. So make sure that under Organize, Folder and Search Options, the Search tab, that you click Find Partial Matches. So this is good for if you know where your things are. But for example, you may have no idea where your files are and that's when we would use the search folder so if I go to start search and simply and I type in something and it's really not quite what I was looking for so I go to search everywhere that will open up the search folder and you can see it's different than Windows Explorer it has some different options so Basically, these buttons up here serve as filters. And if I'm looking for a picture, I simply will use that filter. And make sure that my dialog's clean. And our document or whatever I want to search for. And you can actually even search for emails. If you're connected into Outlook, it'll even search through Outlook and find your emails. So this search is really complete right here. You can find anything. You don't have to have any idea where anything is. It's a complete search of all your index files. So for example, I can type in and it'll show everything up. But if you're still having trouble, you can go to Advanced Search. And this makes it really easy to set different criteria for your search. For example, you can show the date. You can look. If you kind of know where it is, you might be able to look here. If I know it's in the C drive, I'm going to keep it as everywhere for now. You can set the date before and after. If there's a tag, type in the name if you know an author. So this just helps you refine a search if you really are having trouble finding something. 
this can help you out.